Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to model skylight windows in AutoCAD architecture. Now, if it's your first time on the channel, thank you for joining. I do hope that you will find my videos helpful. I have a bunch of them, so feel free to explore the channel. Uh, if you also have questions, feel free to drop those in the comment section below. Let me know how it's going for you. For the regular subscribers, visitors, patrons, I know you've missed me for a couple of weeks, uh, but I was super duper busy. And as you can see, I am now in a new apartment and also I was able to upgrade a couple of stuff um so yeah i do have a new desk i have a new chair and a couple of other things that you're not seeing on the screen right now so thank you all for your support i must also mention that i am working on the autocad architecture course for beginners to intermediate level a lot of folks are transitioning from the 2d autocad to the 3d autocad quote unquote BIM. And I think this course will be a great opportunity for you if you're one of those persons. I also have received numerous comments and questions through emails or through DMs, how to do this, how to do that. So this course will be in a structured step-by-step -step format and you will learn everything you need to know to get the project from the ground up using AutoCAD architecture. All being well, I intend to get this course finished and ready before the year ends, so stick around for that. I will post the link to the course under this video when it becomes available. I'll also be updating you guys as we post more videos on the channel. Anyways, enough of that. Let's get into the video where I'll show you how to get those beautiful skylight windows on your project. Okay, gentle people, so here we are in AutoCAD architecture and I am using the 2023 version, but don't worry because what I'm showing you here is nothing brand new to AutoCAD architecture. It's just something that uh, you'll be able to do in any version of AutoCAD architecture that you have. Now, it's important for me to point out that AutoCAD architecture does not give us a specific tool to draw windows on a roof. So similar to how we can host doors and windows on a wall, um, and I can give you an example. So let's open up the first floor here. So these windows are hosted to the wall and so it works beautifully. The doors as well are hosted to the wall. If I delete this door, the wall will, will recover itself. So I wish AutoCAD would give us a, a feature for that similar to roof. So we could just host a window on top of a roof and stuff like that, but it doesn't. So what we have to do is to manipulate the window tool and other tools uh, to make it work for us. So that's exactly what I'll be doing in this video today. Now, for those of you who are wondering how I was able to get all of these three constructs into one view. Um, I do have a series of videos that will help you to get this uh, on your project. So I'm going to drop the link to that in the description below. So check that out. The, the other thing is that I will not be drawing a roof in this video. So if you want to learn how to draw different types of roof and shapes and stuff like that, I do have two videos on that. I'm also going to drop those in the description below so if you want to know how to do a roof from scratch those would be perfect for you in this video i'm just going to be showing you how to apply the windows to your roof okay so what we're going to do here is to open the roof design construct and if i open this guy here you will see that only the roof is loaded into this here all right so what we're going to do here in order to know where to place a skylight on this drawing we can go to the top view here and let's bring in our second floor all right so we're going to go to the constructs we're going to click on this guy here and we're going to x ref overlay and this is what that would look like so the first thing we need to do is to determine where we want to place a skylight window now of course these two rooms here have so many <laughs> natural light coming in already from the front as you can see from this uh, view here um, i don't think those would need a skylight per se um, but i am thinking that this bathroom here could do with a skylight you know when you're taking a shower or you're uh, 
laying in the tub or something like that you can just look into the uh, into the skies count the stars and that kind of stuff so i think that would be a cool idea here the second thing you want to do is to determine your window size so based on the size of this room uh, this room is 11 feet by 5 feet so we're going to make a window that is 6 feet by 3 feet wide okay so that's going to be six feet in this direction and three feet in this direction okay now one of the things i'm going to do here is to kind of uh, draw a rectangle to the shape of the room just to have that i'm going to click on that rectangle there and i'm going to also click on this roof and i am going to isolate these objects so that we can just focus on what we want to focus on since we know that this piece of roof is where the hole and the window will be placed all right the second thing that i'm going to do is to break my view in two so i have a 3d view on this side and i'll remain or retain the 2d view on this side all right so this is what we're looking at so far not too bad now the next thing i would like to do is to move our working plane or our what they call the xyz we want to move this guy here to make it so that it sits flat on top of the roof so that grid that you're looking at in the background it's going to be placed directly on top of this roof and if you've been following the channel you would know how to do this but let's do it nonetheless we're going to go over to the views tab we're going to go down to coordinates and click on this guy here and go down to face all right click on that and just like that we can highlight the face of the object click and then we are going to place our origin somewhere down here so let's click here just hit enter after that okay so then this is what happened is that your grid is now laying directly flat on top of that object all right perfect so let's click on the top view here so what this does is to give us uh, what is called an auxiliary view looking directly 90 degrees perpendicular whatever you want to call it directly on top of the roof so when you're looking on this side it's going to look a little different from here because you can see the room here but on this view the room is a little off to the side that's because we're looking at an auxiliary view here now what we're going to do as you can see here we do not have a saved coordinate system here uh, it is unnamed so i would like to rename this so that we can use it in the future because i think we might need to use it so what i'm going to do is click on this uh, little arrow right here underneath your view coordinate go over to named and we're going to rename this guy to roof plane okay hit ok so now we do have a roof plane coordinate system here and we have the original world coordinate system on this side so if we go to the 3d view and we actually switch between the two you can see the movement of the grid in the background here so this is important because what we want to do is to draw a shape directly on top of this roof so now that we have what we need here what we're going to do is to draw our window here i don't like the way this looks. this should be this here so top okay that's what it should look like we're going to draw the shape of our window let's rotate this so that the top it's readable the in this direction so we're going to draw a shape using the rectangle tool click and we're going to go down to dimensions we already know that our window will be six feet by three feet so let's type three feet first three feet enter six feet enter and we're gonna click so this is the sh uh, the shape of our window at this stage guys you can actually draw a custom shaped window so if you want your window to shape like i don't know like a circle an octagon hexagon whatever this is where you'd go ahead and create that shape I do have a video showing you how to create custom windows so I'm going to drop that in the description below check it out if that's what you want to do 
For this video, we are working with a simple rectangle. So this shape is, is exactly six feet by three feet, as you can see uh, with those dimensions there. Over here, it looks a little bit skewed, and that's because it is at a slope. So what we're gonna do from this side is to move it into place. So it's gonna be above this uh, area here. And I'm going to actually make it so that it is centered within this room. So I'm gonna right click, go to my AEC modify tools, go down to center, and I'm gonna click on this plane here or anything that is running in a vertical orientation. So click on that. And I want to make it so that it is centered between this point and this point. So as you can see, it shifts a little bit just to make it happen. We're gonna repeat that command, select the object, go to center in this direction this time from here. Oops, nope, let's go again. <laughs> I select the wrong corner there. Center from here, from here to here. All right, so now I know that my window will be perfectly centered within the space. Now it looks weird over here again, but if we should rotate this, you can see that first of all, the shape is laying directly flat on top of the roof. That's perfect. And also it is laying directly over top of the room in terms of where it is located. So that's what we want right there. Now we're going to use this shape to cut a hole into the roof. And at this point, guys, it is important that you are using the roof plane coordinates because depending on how you have this, it will cut your roof weird. OK, so I mean, I could show you what it does here, but it would take time. So what I'm going to do is to just click on this guy here or rather click on the roof and we're going to say add a hole. Add, click on your shape, hit enter. Do you want to erase the geometry? Yes. And just like that, we have created a hole in our roof. So now all that is left is to place our window right into that spot. So how do we do that? We just simply go to our window tool or rather let's go down to our tool properties here and go down to windows. If you don't know where to find your tool palette, uh, it's underneath your home tools and design tools. Okay. So once you click on that, this is going to come up and you go down to windows. And for this, I'm going to use a simple picture window. Okay, so I'm going to click on this here and right now it is asking you to select a wall, but because we do not want to place this on a wall, we're going to make it so that it is free floating in the air. So in order to do that, you just hit the enter key once and now you have a free floating window that you can place anywhere you want. So I'm going to place it like right here and turn it in which direction? Maybe like this direction here. So this is how it is uh, <laughs> oriented in, in a vertical direction. So let's change the shape of it to be three feet by six feet. All right, so this is what we have. So we just need to rotate this window so that it lays flat on top of our roof. So we're going to switch our coordinate system here, go back to view, and we're going to go to this little guy here, click on that, and we're going to select uh, top view. First, let's move to the world coordinate first, just to uh, switch things up a little bit, and then switch to, I think this is the front, so we want to go to the front, so front view. So what that does is to move your grid so that it lays on the front. All right, and we're gonna click on top so that we're looking at it in this direction. This will allow us to move our window freely. Uh, so we're gonna move this point here, turn my ortho mode off. We're gonna move it to the here and we're gonna click on it again, go to rotate from this point. As you can see, we can just rotate it here now, I do not know the angle of this roof at this point. So what I'm going to do here is to click on reference and I'm going to reference this line here. And now I can move over and I can just click on any point over here.
to make it rotate perfectly all right so as you can see the window is now rotated the only thing that is left is to move it to place it exactly where i want it so i'm going to move it in a 3d uh, environment move it from this corner to this corner here so now the window is technically where it's supposed to be the only difference now is that um, let's go back to a top view here if i should take a measurement from here to here just to see the thickness of the roof um, we could make it so that our window frame is as thick as that. So let's go to the window, edit style, go to dimensions. And this is saying two, that's fine. We're not going to change that. This part here is what we want to change. And we're going to make this nine dash one over four inches. Click out of it and hit OK. And just like that, it would fill the space for us. So now when we look at our window from a 3D perspective, let's change this to conceptual. So now we do have a window nicely placed in that roof. Here is the caveat, okay? Now when you're looking at it from a plan view, this is what the window looks like, okay? For some reason, AutoCAD doesn't allow the window to look as is. You would want the window to look as it look here from a plan view, but as you can see here, it looks as if it is still placed in a wall, uh, which is not the case. So this is an issue that I would love for AutoCAD to, re get, to get resolved. If you really want your window to look as is, as it lays on top of the roof, you could actually explode this window. But if you explode the window, then you will not get these wonderful properties where you can come back and change the size, change the shape. Uh, you know, stuff like that. So um, you will lose all of these properties if you choose to explode. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. So I'm going to explode this guy one time and it disappears. Where did it go? <laughs> it didn't work. Let me try one more time because I did it before and it worked. So let's try that one more time. There we go. So when you explode it, if you click on it now, it is now a block reference it is no longer a window object um, but as you can see from plan view you can now see exactly what it should look like uh, from a plan view perspective all right so i'm going to undo that because i would rather to have it in this fashion and what i would do here is to hide this object so if I'm producing a plan view and I would like to see uh, this skylight window, all I really need to see is this outline. So being that I already have the outline, I would just turn this window off. Rather click on this guy here and just turn it off. All right. So from a plan view, this is what you would see. Let me delete this and let me end isolation. So we are bringing back everything. So this is what it would look like from a plan view. But if we were to turn back the window on, you don't want to see this. <laughs> you really don't. On a 3D view, yes, we want to see it. So we would leave it on. But over here, no. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is to end my dual screen. I'm going to unload this guy here. I'm going to save. Then I'm going to go back to my 3D view. I'm going to click on the roof and I'm going to reload. All right, so now you can see that the roof now has a skylight uh, window on top of it looking beautiful. And so uh, that's how you would go about adding skylight to your roof, whether it is on a slope or it is a flat roof, it would be the same uh, principle. So you can go ahead and do so. Um, there is actually a way that we could uh, like a like an oval shape on top of this roof. I'm not sure if you're familiar with those type of skylight, um, especially on a flat roof. Um, there's a way that we can actually do that using this the, the, the window tool as well. Um, I've never done it, but it's in my mind. I, I can think about how it would be done. So hopefully I'll give it a test and see if I can do it. And then I'll show you guys how that is done. All right, that's it. That's where we will stop for today. Go ahead, drop a like on this video if you learned something new. Drop your comments and your questions, your thoughts in the comment section below. Finally, I would like to thank my patrons and channel members for your support. And finally, finally, 
thank all of you for checking out my videos my channel i appreciate y'all see you guys in the next video